Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Hope you've all been doing well. This video is a follow-up to another video I made recently. So in that video, I oriented my focus on RAM speeds and tested a few games as part of the investigation to see whether or not faster RAM was worth it. If you haven't seen that video, I'll drop a link in the video description down below. So if you're curious, definitely check that out. Now this video is going to be centered on system memory again, except a different factor will be explored here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how much of an impact the capacity of RAM in your system can make. I finally upgraded to 16GB of memory from 8GB of uh, memory in my system. And so I wanted to see how much of a performance boost doubling up my RAM could make in, a ga in gaming performance. So my test methodology here is very simple and straightforward. I benchmarked some popular titles released over the last couple of years with 8GB of RAM, then again with 16GB of RAM installed. So without further ado, let's jump into these benchmark results so you can see for yourselves if RAM capacity makes a difference. Well there you guys have it. Again, the results pretty much speak for themselves here. Pretty much all the titles I benchmarked, sh they shared a similar story. Doubling, doubling up on RAM barely affected the performance. Some games showed a very minimal improvement. We're talking about a 1 or 2 FPS increase, whereas the rest showed no improvement at all. So from here, you can come to the understanding that you don't have to go all crazy and overkill with RAM if your PC is going to be used for gaming primarily. As of now, attaining a higher capacity of RAM for gaming seems like a waste, as there aren't many titles out there that require 16GB of RAM to be fu and fully utilize it. However, I don't want people to misunderstand me here and think that I'm saying that more than 8GB of RAM is useless for all applications. Having 16 or 32GB of RAM does have its advantages and its uses. Many users that operate virtual machines and servers will require as much RAM as possible. Another example where a, a higher capacity of RAM will be useful is in 3D modeling or simulation programs such as AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS. Programs like that will chew through RAM like it's nothing. So hopefully this video helped you guys out and was informative to you all. And if it was, definitely hit that like button. Leave any questions, comments, or thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, then consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for your time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.